sure we're live. There we are. Nice. Hi, everyone. This is Chicho. Welcome to my channel and welcome to another live stream. Today, today is September 25th, 2022. We're into the fall. Fantastic, fantastic. Uh, we're getting a late summer here, so the plants are still, the buds are growing, the tomatoes are still ripening, and um, it is getting into the rainy season. So it's time to harvest what we have back here is hops okay so i have uh we have hops coming up the stairs in the in the backyard coming up and then i've sort of directed them uh coming how we're we gonna do this this way going up and we have bamboo so i set up some bamboo uh cut some bamboo and set up the set it up in a way where the hops could climb it and it would overhang in our patio so we're gonna harvest some hops and we're gonna open discussion talk about whatever we want right and the odds are um, the conversation will might take us to places where the video cannot be loaded onto sensor tube okay uh, when we hit that uh, those topics if we hit those topics then we'll have to you know continue discussion on bitchute rumble and odyssey and this full live stream and all of our live streams will be loaded in their entirety on BitChute, Rumble, and Odyssey. So SensorTube is only a sort of small portion or a portion of uh, the content that we are creating and slowly it's becoming less and less uh, because the sensors are tightening noose on free speech and uh, free thought. So we'll stick uh, to our, we've got the wasps visiting us again. Um, to our routine so um, for those of you watching on sensor tube if this live stream is less than two hours usually we go for two hours then the remainder of the live stream will be available on bitchute rumble and odyssey okay we do have a gilded server where you're welcome to join us there and participate in the discussion share whatever you want uh, free speech uh, share information question some of the uh, mindset of our community um, seek additional information um, and get into an open discussion sunday streams and i love these sunday streams elder god and welcome welcome to another live stream right sunday is is is, is an interesting day of the year of the week uh, usually because we go to school uh, sundays weekends are off in my part of the world anyway and sundays were day where you were dreading going back to school the next day and you might have had homework but it seemed like a free day because uh, on saturday you're all in a rush so sundays tended to be um, sort of not nostalgic but sort of hazy hazy okay and gang we do have a patreon page patreon.com forward slash chicho c-h-y-c-h-o if you want to follow this work you can definitely follow the work on patreon we also have a subscribe star page and a Substack page and uh, we upload all of our content on all three of those platforms so you're definitely uh, welcome to follow us on all three platforms or one of them or support this work on uh, either of those platforms and for those of you that are supporting this work on patreon substack subscribe star thank you very much for the support on those platforms as well as the support that we're getting on twitch because without this support we would not be able to do what it is that we are doing so i thank you very much from the bottom of my heart and as always as always huge gratitude to the mods for being here on twitch and our gilded and uh, helping along uh, the discussion uh, and helping our community lark park hey chicho my man what's up beer hops garden open discussion life <laughs> Lark Park, <laughs> Elder God's like, I'm there. Awesome, awesome. Uh, we do announce these live streams 30 minutes, 45 minutes before we go live on Minds VK Gap Parlor and Getter and BitCloud. Um, I've been having a little bit of problems with uh, Parlor. Uh, one of my computers uh, is having a hard time logging onto it, so I have to set it up. So 
I've missed the last couple of announcements on Parler, but we'll get back on there again. I just have to do a little bit back end adjustment to make sure uh, we're on there again. OK, and we'll see what other platforms we go on. We will not be joining any censored platforms, technocratic platforms where they censor information. We tried it out with TikTok. We got knocked out in uh, three weeks, right? It was fun to be there just to see what it's all about. Uh, but we're not going to hold back. The only place we're holding back right now is SensorTube. And because we're on Blogger as well, uh, on Blogger, I'm just linking everything to a subscri <laughs> subscribe star, Substack, and Patreon, right? And on Patreon, I sort of word things in a way we're not going to get caught up with the algorithms, right? Ponzi killer. I've never eaten hops uh, before. I hope you're all doing well. We're doing well, and we're not eating the hops. We're going to harvest the hops. Hops are used for making beer, right? So, and you can make tea. And we harvested some in the past. I'm getting dark matter again, gang. I like this beer, Hoin. I know association with these guys. They're a local brewery, and uh, they have some delicious beers. And this is a very unique beer. Uh, so hops are used for uh, making beer uh, and other things, I guess. Uh, I'm not too familiar with them. Some people say you can make jello out of them. Um, and tea. I've done the tea with them before. Just take a... You know three or four of the hops and put them in the tea and uh, it makes it a little bit bitter it gives it a unique flavor okay so uh, it's interesting to have and it's just good to have I've gifted hops a little bit uh, to friends uh, and we had a gardener here last year a couple of years ago where uh, I gave him a bag of hops and he was like oh cool um, and supposedly hops are expensive uh, to get i'm not i'm not 100 sure i've never seeked out buying hops but i definitely will harvest them if we have them right salute gang i hope you have a fantastic sunday ah, very nice birdie here how are you doing i hope you're doing how you're doing well ponzi killer ah nice gluten-free beer i assume no wheat rye barley i guess so i'm not sure the beer of God, <laughs> dark matter. I'm not sure, Ponzi killer. I don't, I don't know if it's gluten free or not. Uh, and gang, I've started uploading to SoundCloud again, uh, back into our rhythm um, for live streams when we don't have any visuals. I don't move around. I will definitely set up the lapel mic and record it and have the audio loaded onto SoundCloud as a podcast. Now I should be pulling the audio of these live streams out as well and filtering them running through uh, SoundCloud but we'll see maybe we'll do that sometime in the future uh, I need a desktop upgrade in the computer system as well uh, so we'll see where that takes us aside from that welcome to our live stream let me take these guys down awesome awesome and uh, I'm assuming notifications slowly going out uh, I'm just checking to make sure we're live streaming okay doop, doop. nice okay we're there very good very good uh, as far as snack school snack goes I got uh, I got some almonds again I'm eating a fair bit of almonds right birdie here spiced rum and coke is on is the is the one you like spice coke and rum that's sugar galore i used to drink coke and rum uh there was a period where i drank a fair bit of rum uh you go a little too far with rum you got a nasty hangover you got a nasty hangover check out this thing oh no it's just crazy he's like right on uh check this out this is this morning i've sort of been doing this for the last couple of days for breakfast cooking uh cooking up some uh, apples uh, apples and pears that we picked okay and then um, with cinnamon and a little bit of maple syrup and olive oil okay so apples pears a little bit of olive oil so it doesn't stick in the uh, cast iron pans so um, on low heat uh, low lowish right and then put a little cinnamon put a little bit of maple syrup right cook it up and then take the hot apple and the pear put it on a plate put a layer of uh, old cheddar right and then take more of the apples and pear put it on top and then put blue cheese on top 
okay it's a little decadent but it's fantastic tasting this is what i had for breakfast a little bit left over so i'm gonna munch a little bit more on it all right super yummy mm. and it's got walnuts and almonds on it in it as well okay so i cooked up the walnuts and then the almonds i put on top uh, without it being cooked right Spice rum. I finally got a Twitch app on my phone to get rid of the pesky Twitch ads. I'm um, chain smoking right now. Ah, okay. I don't. Uh, I don't. I don't use mobile uh, with apps and stuff. That's one thing I decided not to do in my life, uh, just because of multiple reasons: privacy being one of them, and a tracking system being another. Um, um, invasion of information as well uh, i would get addicted on it so when i'm mobile i don't i'm not using any apps gang salute salute first time chat isu kuzu i have no idea what this says but welcome to our stream Smith, how are you doing? What's going on in here? We're just chatting it up. We're gonna harvest some hops. I bought organic almonds online because there's only one website for celiac safe nuts. They taste laundry chemicals. What? Really? Why would they taste uh, chemically if they're organic? Oh god, dark matter. Here it is the description. Dark matter, deep deceptively dark delicious is it a stout is it a brown is it a porter dark matter is elusive soft on the tongue with hints of subtle roasted chocolate sometimes you need to go somewhere dark in order to see <laughs> that's the description of this beer and i love it <laughs> i love it all the god thanks for looking this up by the way awesome 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 very good very good if i was running a business i was into breweries i was gonna buy up breweries i'd buy these guys out cheryl how are you doing hope you're doing well and having a fantastic sunday oh you don't know why they taste it chemically i got my refund right away you say they must have kept the nuts with the <laughs> cricket flour. <laughs> Don't eat the cricket. Zoo will eat the bugs. No, I will not eat the bugs. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> Hilarious. Lark Bark says regarding description of beer. That's dark indeed. Joe Bucky. Bakai, how are you doing? Welcome to another live stream joe aquatic hey chicho happy sunday plants are looking nice yeah they are the buds uh this one the buds aren't that uh that big yet we're having a late season so it's lucky 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 right check out the all uh, right and when the time comes we will harvest these together on a live stream i hope so anyway okay uh this one the buds are coming in way better thicker all right remember we got these in late and it was a late season so these are pretty much the smallest buds i've grown for me for a long time All right i got my fingers crossed we get another two weeks of sun that's pushing it in my part of the world this is pushing it All right we got like two or three days and then it's supposed to rain and then it's supposed to be sunny again but we'll see we'll see um we got a little guy here this is one of the smallest plants i've ever grown a little guy here that this one is crazy crystally crazy crystally and we've got another one here as well let me tell you what these are by the way i wrote down the names check this out check this out lark bark indeed mate that's me every <laughs> very nice that's very nature elder god says regarding the dark matter of your, the description hilarious <laughs> Salute, salute. 
Ponzi killer. I got a potato in my backyard, almost ready for harvest. Gonna make fries and mashed potatoes. Very nice, very nice. Baby Knights, how are you doing? You have only one potato. Also, hello everyone. Hello, baby knights. And if you have one potato, the other you got a lot more. All right. And gang, do not, do not, do not forget. Free Assange, Free Assange, Free Assange. Julian Assange is a publisher and journalist that has been crucified for trying to bring transparency and accountability of capital as power to humanity. Something that we desperately need in our societies. All right. For more information, see wikileaks.org, defend.wikileaks.org, or countless, countless resources online for you to get an idea of what's taken place in the last few years. Okay. Check this out. This one, this one is, this guy here is North Country ChemD, okay, plus Sunshine Daydream. It's a hybrid, right? So, pretty cool. North Country Chem D plus Sunshine Daydream. It's 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 high in THC. It's supposed to be high in THC. It's late bloomer. The red uh, hairs are coming out slowly. Okay. So hopefully it's gonna get a lot bigger. Okay. This one here is we believe this one we're not 100 percent sure okay <laughs> seriously this one is 88 grapes um oregon grapes plus 88 g13 hash plant okay it's a higher thc 972 4663 thank you for the follow salute 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 cheers Oh, it's so rewarding. Epic, epic gamer sex. It's so rewarding. He, uh, epic gamer sex is saying growing your own um, marijuana. I'm going to change it with cannabis. Cannabis has to be so rewarding. It is a 100% rewarding. I've been doing it for a while. Not every year, but whenever I got the chance, extremely rewarding. It's like consuming your own harvest, right? It's like harvesting our own grapes, harvesting our own hops, harvesting our own herbs, tomatoes, uh, basil, whatever right but a little more so right Panzikala, i live in the only state in the northeast that hasn't legalized cannabis yet oh fuck the fascist politicians indeed indeed so this one um it's supposed to be high high year in thc uh, it's got really nice crystals on here and it smells really good okay it smells really good this one here is i love the name of this one uh, blackberry mouth okay this little guy here we got this in really late it's supposed to be it's supposed to grow tall but it didn't and it's very resinous so and it's got like it's got one of the most amount of crystals i've seen on any bud at this stage okay so super cool super cool 990 why does retired military uh why does retired military former uh whatever country feel so uh feel or process that they can get away with abusing people using their learned intimidation tactics to ensnare and abuse victims why <laughs> i don't know because they have gotten away with it for a very long time right we haven't held power accountable but why you why, why is every letter first letter of the word capitalized 990 you're me emphasizing everything made it for some somehow made it harder to read and then the one back here this one's looking very nice by the way needs about needs about a couple of more weeks i don't know if we're gonna get it is royal kush plus sour diesel energetic okay energetic and we've grown this one before uh, so three of these guys are brand new we haven't grown them that one we've grown before fantastic we couldn't get our hands any on any uh, durban poison uh unfortunately uh this year uh, but a durban poison was fantastic to grow as well 
but the royal uh, royal kush plus the sour diesel very nice very nice delicacy delicacy right i'll let you guys know what the what these three are like later later during the year right <laughs> yeah probably uh Pazza Killer says probably some traumatized themselves but it doesn't give them the right to abuse people indeed indeed Smith is laughing, Ronnie's laughing. Oh god, I wonder what is happening in China. I wonder as well. I wonder what's happening all over the all over the place. Lots of crazy stuff going on, right? Yeah, I don't believe I don't believe that there's a coup in China. Definitely not. Uh, it's not gonna happen. Uh, because uh, under that regime, China has only gotten stronger and stronger. So mm, It'd be it'd be funny, weird if people thought that was a bad thing for a country, right? Uh, on the flip side, in the Western world, all the Western countries, except for the United States, relatively speaking, right? United States on the global scale has gotten weaker. United States compared to the Western world, right, is gotten stronger. So, United States is. Uh, you know depending on your perspective you could say it's gotten weaker or stronger right weaker globally stronger in its sphere of influence now right canada has gotten weaker europe has gotten weaker so many countries that were allied with the west have gotten a lot weaker over the last few years i tend to think there would be more coups more regime changes in those countries instead of the countries that have gotten stronger over the years yeah baby nice uh baby nice says i can't tell tell fake videos from the real ones indeed right now the technology exists that they could fake any anything uh, right so you can't believe it so what we have to do is stay on top of information to be able to understand if a certain event that is being talked about right coming out of a certain region or certain someone or certain organization if that makes sense or not right so extremely important for those that are just diving into geopolitics and current events and economics even uh societal issues really just they're new to it they're gonna have a hard time processing the information coming in because there's so much bs right for those who have followed uh what has been taking place in the world and understand as some of us do the bigger picture we can sort of start discerning if something's bs or not right if it makes sense uh we'll see though we'll see all right ronnie if g is really under house arrest that's some real crazy new world order shit that's happened indeed and i i i can't see it elder god all those replies are probably true i i believe it no one has anything to gain from lying about it happening i don't know is this what we're talking about the china situation sure they do some people just want dreams drama oh drama yeah tick tack the ring tick tack the ring it's a problem to be it's a, it's a problem to be weaker um depends on the geopolitical front it could be you have to have some aces in the hole right elder god america are on fire and everyone seems to be running for gasoline yeah it's crazy uh, you, the US United States is not on fire as much as the rest of the Western world mm -hmm. Canada is seems stable but man it's economically it's not in good shape it's not in good shape right Canadian banks are on the serious downturn right family has been buying puts and uh, disclaimer family has puts on a Canadian bank right now sold half the position on Friday because it took a nice dive right but can he, we're family was buying puts has been buying puts on a constant basis over the last year on Canadian banks right last six months on the Canadian bank so Canadian banks are on a whoop, 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 whoop. we'll see where they go 999 90 990 I keep on saying 99 I want to say 99 should military on a global scale be re-examined and have their swap drain swamp drain look who released the COVID 
uh, reset military status yeah we'll see I, it, the world is, is the world is a stage as Shakespeare would say right and us merely players right um, I'm paraphrasing of course uh, but we'll see right now there's a lot of changes taking place the world is about or the world has been deglobalized it's polarized I'm not multipolar world now really but polar really uh, just two but there could be multiple areas right um, and different people in different regions and going in different directions you know fingers crossed we're going the right one right baby nice I wonder what will happen to Russia after mobilizing their people and giving 10 years sentences if you say no or if you try to run away it's not looking good for Russia ah, baby nights I think it's still looking extremely well for Russia relative to Europe Western Europe Russia is looking like amazing right there prices are dropping in Russia things are cheaper instead of inflation kicking in they're reducing interest rates in Russia um, they don't have an energy crisis they don't have a food crisis they don't have an economic crisis in Russia compared to Western Europe Western Europe looks like a disaster right Plutorio how are you doing hi hi Chad hi Chicho salute salute gang Matthew I think this is Putin Putin death Neil he's probably a successor or far more friendly to the West and less extreme oh my god Matthew no 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 as far as as far as as far as uh, Putin goes he's sitting extremely powerful like Russia is way more powerful now than it was a year ago okay the mobilization means as soon as the new territories are absorbed into Russia if there is an attack on those territories that means there's an attack on Russia and Russia will go ballistic on Ukraine and any country institution organization that is supporting Ukraine they've said this Russia does not bluff right uh, and Russia has the means to do so that's the key right this is not a bluff okay not a bluff as far as Putin goes Putin is the gentle giant right the people behind Putin they would have already gone ballistic uh, on Ukraine uh, a long time ago okay uh, we in the West should hope that Putin stays in power for a long time to come until things calm down because he is um, the more gentle person that could have been in power there are way more hardliners in Russia from what I understand than Putin right? the raven the crow right. Ronnie did you hear about the Korean president said about the US politicians he said they're all just idiots oh no I didn't hear that <laughs> South Korean president uh, I'm assuming the South Korea right because the North Korean have said that many times <laughs> I believe in his visit to the UN recently really no I hadn't heard that Ronnie uh, South Korea okay so there it is South Korea is a big US ally and that's what the leader thinks of the US government shows that the shows that the world thinks of the US yeah uh, the puppets they put in power in the Western world are clowns uh, compared crow 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 <laughs> are clowns compared to some of the leaders of other nations really clowns like a joke I wouldn't let them run 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 my garbage out the door let alone rule over a country what in the world oh look god that deep fake video of Trudeau was extremely convincing the only thing that showed uh, showed it to be fake is he said he was reading a book haha -ha, and Trudeau can't obviously and that's what elder guy was talking about is a it's a sort of a video that someone made as a sort of a mockery of uh, Trudeau reading a book but the book is related to uh, the trucker convoy and uh, he's talking about he really enjoys this book and how the Prime Minister destroyed Canada and stuff like this 
fantastic uh, video fantastic video people linked it up on our discord uh not discord jeez louise on our gilded page right we're off discord Discord is a censored shit platform now right so people linked it up on our gilded page so uh, i'm pretty sure you could find it there i'm pretty sure it'll show up again so you're definitely welcome to join us on gilded uh if you want to uh, share some information uh, see what's going on in the world right matthew the uk is going down the toilet uh yeah incredible inflation pounding sterling tanking uh, pound sterling tanking four figure monthly energy bills we are in a terrible situation hope hopeful for winter time uh uprising well we'll see but by the way matthew the only reason you're in the situation is because of your political geopolitical decisions by your world economic forum puppets that have been put into power to rule over you right what are you gonna do about it ronnie south korea is a big yeah yeah cool first time chat isaac newton 96 salute salute first time chat isaac newton says russia is a criminal state there's no people flying to russia there's pe people flying from russia i disagree right every state is a criminal state right as far as i'm concerned right they have all committed atrocities on some people so what we need to do is decentralize the whole world right as far as the ukrainian situation goes you might want to look up an article that i wrote in 2014 which sort of lays down the foundation of what's taking place and what was to come it was it was obvious back then that this was going to blow sky high right it was just a matter of time and uh, that's where it began okay Ponzi russia russian hard base hits hard russian horn base hits hard <laughs> PM Trous, oh trust, oh my God, that's the UK. Says getting more immigrants into the UK will solve the inflation rate situation. <laughs> oh my God, is that what she said? <laughs> very delayed, very delayed. What a joke! What a joke! <laughs> the God says you spelled to Isaac. You spelled America wrong. <laughs> because it would be america is a criminal state like seriously how many wars has russia started in the last 20 since let's say beginning of 2000 right in the last 22 years and how many wars has the united states started you just ask yourself that right how many wars has the united states and the west collective west have started how many countries have they annihilated how many you decide i'm not going to say the number how many people have they killed how many people have they displaced right in the last 22 years compared to what russia has done it's it, it like there's no comparison right like there's no comparison right there's no com like literally it's like comparing the poop coming out of an elephant compared to the poop coming out of an ant right you, you can't compare it It's crazy. Haha, <laughs> Lark Bark. The crow and go figure with Halloween around the corner. Indeed. <laughs> Boscular says, Matt, what are you doing? <laughs> okay, I'm scrolling down again. Oh, wow, there's a lot of chat. Da -da 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 -da. I'm going to see if there's anything directed towards me. Uh, I'm going to read Cheryl's comment. Uh, Cheryl says, I would have more faith in the referendum if it didn't seem so slapped together i don't think it was slapped together cheryl i think this was a plan from the get-go i think this has been planned for a very very long time okay um it came out that in 2000 and uh, uh 2021 uh, and labrov and I, I saw this on the uh, duran or alex christophorus uh, channel or something right um labrov gave a speech in the un where he said there was a video of Zelensky right from 2021 saying that any russian speaking ukrainians that feel any kin kinship to i'm paraphrasing to russians right they should leave ukraine lavrov came out and said well russian speaking ukrainians that feel that they are brothers with russia are leaving ukraine and they're taking their land with them all right 
Uh, and I don't blame them. Uh, the puppet government that was installed in Ukraine in 2014 has been bombing, killing Russian speaking Ukrainians. They burned them alive in Odessa in a building, right? Um, I wouldn't want to be with them, right? And I believe this was planned. This referendum was planned a long time ago. Remember, in 2014, 2015, they did the same thing in Crimea. So all the paperwork, all the documentation was most, and the machinery and the ballots, I think everything was in place because they did it in Crimea and they were going to do it here, 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 if Ukraine didn't take the peace deal. And they were going to take the peace deal until Boris Clown Johnson, that mass murdering the Scott criminal war criminal it's got blood on his hands up the yin yang right his ancestors for generations to come if he has any any anyone's foolish enough to have a child with this moron right his ancestors will have blood on in their hands for generations to come right because he prevented the peace deal from being uh implemented with ukraine and russia where the donbass the eastern ukrainian region would have had partial autonomy right and the Western Ukrainians would have stopped bombing the shit out of them and killing them, right? So I think I don't think this was pieced slapped together. I think uh, it was worked out a long time ago. Uh, again, the Western world is playing tic tac toe, while Russia has been playing chess with a grandmaster, right? Disgusting who we have in power in the Western world. Isaac Newton says Putin is a really dumb leader. He calculated everything wrong. Isaac, what what are you talking about? <laughs> Russian rule is stronger now than before the invasion. Their economy is pumping like mad, right? Their inflation rate is down. They're not in there's no inflation. Like prices are falling in Russia. Uh they're raising interest rates. Their economy is in full speed. They've won the war on every front, economic, political. The only front they've lost it is propaganda, because obviously, you still think Putin is dumb. <laughs> they've lost in every way. <laughs> uh, Ronnie, do you think nuclear war may happen within our lifetime? Uh, if we in the West are able to put in power uh, people who are sane, okay, then we can avoid nuclear war if the western world collective west continues to push russia and from what i understand russia and china are really trying to uh, not go into a hot war with the collective west they don't want it i don't think the world wants it remember western europe started two world wars and they're starting the third one right now so if we're lucky we're able to put into power certain people in the western world that can make peace we can avoid nuclear war if we continue to push russia the way we have been uh, then uh, unfortunately we might see uh, something really bad happen matthew chicho i asked you a long time ago maybe three quarters of a year ago whether you thought it was ever or could ever be um, appropriate for an individual to become violent against politicians or technocrats or anyone in a position of power has your position changed given what has occurred over the la over the past three quarters of a year um, I don't think violence is gonna solve anything I think uh, I know some people disagree with me I know some people disagree with me uh, the problem with violence against centralized power like this is because they're capable of a lot more violence than we are their minds work in a very distorted way, right? Like, for example, would you have, uh, as an individual, as a, as a moral individual, would you have ever conducted renditions uh, where you're kidnapping children, taking them to a black site, and torturing 14-year-old children because you were told to do so, okay? would you would you have done that as a moral individual right because that's exactly what the u.s government did the machinery the military machinery of the u.s government okay and their politicians so 
psychopath gave the order that you torture 14 year olds to see what they know and the American government took these children or this one children specifically to Guantanamo Bay held them for eight ten years to started torturing them when they're 14 years old right personally for me I, that's beyond my comprehension of doing right so I refuse to go violent against an institution or organization that is capable of thinking of doing horrendous acts way beyond my capabilities of even understanding comprehending right and i think that's the way it is for most people so what needs to take place is a peaceful revolution peaceful uh, regime change in the western world because these psychopaths have proven have proven that uh, they are mass murderers so and there has to be accountability there has to be accountability right there has to be accountability I'm scrolling down gang I'm scrolling down Matthew Chicho hate to break it to you but Boris has five children by three different women damn damn disgusting man not that the children will necessarily be as 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 bad as Boris Johnson has been right because you know children may decide to be the opposite of what their parents have been and I hope these five children decide to do that right uh, but sometimes they say the apple doesn't fall from the tree right and who in the world in their right mind uh, would have wanted to procreate with that vile creature elder god Ukraine are doing exactly what Russia want like a mouse running the maze and like I, I don't think Russia wanted this elder God tell you the truth uh, I think uh, I think they would have loved to have peace but it wasn't happening uh, Smith Automod zapped you so I'm gonna allow it I don't know what you're saying but you've been around for a long time so uh, I'll read it when I get to it Matthew Chicho how could you see a peaceful revolution happening we have a chance uh, with Corbyn in the UK and he was torn to shreds over nothing when his record was one of peace and humanity uh, Matthew here's the thing the battle the war is not over that was just a battle right uh, and Corbyn would have implemented all the policies of lockdowns and mandatory this 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 so some people are saying maybe that was a good thing he wasn't in power he wasn't put in power and it sort of lifted the veil regarding who who is in that party that Corbyn belongs to right there's a lot of scumbags in there as well so it's not just Corbyn right it's the whole leadership it's the whole infrastructure we need to defend the Western governments right uh, that's my take Smith says leaders and politicians aside can you imagine being the individual or individuals enacting those horrific war crimes there are scumbags at all levels of social hierarchy with backward beliefs and morals yeah I call them bureaucrats right bureaucracy is the enemy of humanity right and bureaucrats will justify anything including genocide by saying that it was legal the paperwork told me I could do it All right 990 Eurasia is a very interesting place a continent in which the strongest smartest most manipulative warlords had final authority over entire villages and vast expanses of people using nothing but in uh, intimidative bullying yeah bullying in the western world is insane you try the same bullying tactics in some other parts of the world they'll rip you apart they'll rip you apart elder god russia kept peace for eight years i'm surprised they waited as long as they did yeah i think the re it's become obvious now elder god that they waited as long as they did because they weren't ready to confront uh, militarily what was gonna have to happen in ukraine or what was happening in ukraine okay some would argue that it was easier to do it back then I think not I don't think Russia was uh, prepared for it 
No, no, Plut uh, Plutonio, uh, Plutorino. You haven't missed the discussion, Italy. Interesting times, right? Uh, well, uh, I guess they better vote the right way, according to the EU. Otherwise, they're going to do shit to them, right? Unbelievable. And they just... No, uh, recently, uh, the EU prevented the leaders of Cyprus from... Prohibited the leaders of Cyprus from meeting with Russia, from meeting with Lavrov. Like, check this out. The EU banned an, an independent, supposedly, right, an independent country's leaders from meeting with another country's leaders. What kind of clown world is this? What kind of clown world is this? Aldegas says to Plutonio, I was about to mention it, yeah. Uh, Matthew Plutonio, you have not, and I'm, uh, I'm not sure what's happening. Care to uh, educate? Plutonio, I'm not, uh, I am not 100% on the candidates as Ukraine uh, been taking my attention, but Italy is uh, on pace to get its first woman PM and first right wing government since World War II, and, and a government. That has been speaking out against the world economic forum and has been not as harsh uh, uh, and not as harsh rhetoric against russia they've been saying that this war there's more to this what's going on between russia and ukraine than has been um, talked about right cool as that's what a lot of news says okay gang how we doing for time let's harvest some hops should we harvest some hops should we harvest some hops I'm gonna cut some up that way I can sit here and read the chat and uh, take the flowers off uh, coalition brothers of Italy I need to do research yeah I mean check this out Sweden is now leaning heavy right Italy is gonna go heavy right uh, France most likely soon will go heavy right uh, right Cheryl says yes hops time let's do hops gang cheers I'm gonna show you what I got here all right check this out see this behind me right here that's hops this vine coming up 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 going up there going up there and it's tied see here see this guy here that's bamboo that I took from our yard right I tied them together and I made it come to our patio because there's hops whoop, coming down <laughs> go this way coming down the steps here and behind this black screen there's a lot of hops as well right so I'm gonna harvest all the hops along here I'll sh I'll bring them to you show you right check this out right see the hops right so I'm gonna harvest these guys bring them out here put them in a bowl and then we're gonna take the flowers off okay and then uh, time permitting uh, behind this black screen there's a lot of hops <laughs> right <laughs> because the vine has grown above it so I might cho chop some of that off and bring it as well okay uh, is that a few nice guns it is it is four of them we're allowed to grow four in Canada right <sighs> it's fantastic fantastic Jedi statistic stat statistic Matthew not sure uh, anyone should be top hot or brothers of Italy good man <laughs> yeah let's harvest some hops game let me do this I'm gonna show it to you So the vines look like this, right? Vines look like this. Nice vines. And then what we do, we take the flowers off, right? So you can just take the flowers off like this and dry these. Okay. So I'm going to take some of the vines off, put them here, and then come and take the flowers off, and then we get more vines. Okay. So 
sama ini. Really nice. They have a sweet smell. ones up top. Let me grab the really nice ones up top. Good for now. Let's take the flowers off this. Let me put this guy here. Nice. Let me do this. Have a sip of this. <laughs> it just, Elder God says, it just hit me. You streaming from um, outside of balcony? Yeah. Out. Let's bring this over. You know what? I'm gonna go bring another bowl. That way I can take the flowers off and put them in here and then we'll put them back here. Alright? Let me do this. my hat because the sun's shining don't want the nugget to burn Whoop. heading west by the sun's location yeah east west so I've been shooting uh, I've been shooting uh, west and uh, either shooting towards west or towards east Bojo Master hey Chicho. Did you hear about Scott uh, Chegg? No, I don't know who Scott Chegg is. Who's Scott Chegg? More snacks and goodies. Hops, hops, hops. The snacks and goodies I got. Cooked up some apples and pears, put some cheese in there, cinnamon this morning. This has been day two of this breakfast. Cooking up every morning. Very yummy. <laughs> Did I say something bad? <laughs> I 
I'm trying to see if put those two that name together if it means something bad and then the vines when the season is done uh, actually take down the vines you cut them all up all right take it all the way down um, to the bottom Greetings, Nagushka. How are you doing? Hope you're doing well. Welcome to another harvesting live stream. Look at this. Super nice. It's a beautiful plant, by the way. Beautiful plant, beautiful flower. Bojo Master, I'm not gonna read those names again. <laughs> I'm assuming put them together, it says something. I know you're gonna laugh, but I won't do it. Because we don't know what the algorithm is gonna do, right? Super easy taking it off. Check this out, here's the ladybug. Check out the ladybug. Little ladybug. He's like, I don't want to be on camera, man. <sighs> Ladybugs are great. One of the best things you can have for your garden. One of the best things you can have for your garden. They eat pests. They're serious predators, by the way. Like crazy predators. Matthew Chicho, I can smell the delightful hops from here. A true delight, a true delight. It's like a very gentle, sweet smelling thing. Right? <laughs> Bojo Master's good sport. <laughs> Aphid uh, Cruncher. Aphid Cruncher. <laughs> Cheryl says regarding uh, ladybugs, aphid cruncher. They love them aphids, juicy, delicious. And I'm just throwing throwing the vine just on the side there, and we they do compost, uh, like we compost the vines and stuff, All right? Matthew walking past the brewery and smelling brewing hops is spectacular I agree Matthew love it like seriously love it like it makes you sort of want to go want to go be a bar fly and sit on the bar at the end of the bar and get some munchies have some beer just enjoy right? I've done that a lot in the past don't plan on doing it anytime soon could be good times, could be bad times. Have you guys been uh, gardening? Have you guys been growing anything? Harvesting anything from your gardens? Have you guys been moving towards being sustainable? Self-sufficient? Not a hundred percent, but harvest certain things maybe. Right. Grow tomatoes. Saves you a lot of money. And you get really nice organic tomatoes if you can. Let's put this guy here too. And someone mentioned that you can uh, just with uh, just with cannabis? You can take sieves and get the crystals out of hops. I'm not sure what you would do with the crystals, the hops crystals. Uh, it'd be cool to have like, like, you know, a little vial with hops crystals in it. I don't know what, what that would be. Like, look at this, beautiful, so fluffy, right? Look at this thing. 
It's not gonna focus, is it? Huh? Beautiful flower. Nagushka walked to London Drugs today. The computer uh, they told me on the phone is in stock. Turned out to be not in stock. Yeah, London Drugs. Uh, got to walk back there next week. Okay. And uh, Nagushka, uh, I've never bought a computer from London Drugs. In general, I, n I would not consider buying a computer from London Drugs. Uh, they might be better options out there. So look into it, unless they have like a magnificent sale on that's super cheap. Uh, so in general, you want to sort of go to a computer specialist. What have I bought from London Drugs? Electronic-wise, computer-wise, it's been okay. Uh, I bought hard drives before there a long time ago, but not often. Sometimes they had good deals. Eldegoss says, I was cooking Sunday lunch today. I used uh, vegetables from my pub's garden. Nice, nice, nice. That must be save you a fair bit of money, possibly. No? And the, there doesn't need to be like a QR tracking of the food supply chain. Nagushka says, I don't like them as a company because they're proudly pro-vax. Uh, since I live in poverty, I'm limited to where I can buy. Okay. I'm assuming they had a good, good price, good deal. The other thing you can do, Nagushka, is look online to see who's selling used items like my partner bought a laptop computer two laptop computers in the last like three years um, and then she didn't know how to fix computers or anything and one of them uh, the hard drive was a little messed up and she got an amazing deal on it right and she looked up how to replace a hard drive and a laptop and ended up getting the laptop at an amazing deal and it works fantastic with a brand new hard drive and software it took her a little bit of time but she learned a lot doing it right so uh, that's an option it's a learning process but you acquire tools as you're learning right so if you're acquiring tools as you're learning uh, and saving money in the process as long as you have the time then it's a win-win. Right? The other choice is building your own computer. I've never done. I bought the parts and I've had uh, a store put it together for me. Paid them a hundred dollars to put it together for me. It's supposed to be pretty easy, but I didn't want to make any mistakes. I'm actually thinking about building my own desktop computer. Eldegoss says, I just looked at LDL website. Is that the Italian uh, election thing? This is super fun, by the way, gang. Very meditative. And they come off super easy. Super easy. Okay. Hops were made for harvesting. Yeah, it's useful to know how to take a computer apart with uh, screwdrivers. Had to learn how to do that in order to unplug the dust bunnies from the fan. Yeah. I actually opened up my computer yesterday, my desktop, because it's like making noise, rattling and stuff. So it needs to be dealt with. Intimidating at first. So many cables, eh? 
Hell of God, my father's computer is built from uh, built from scratch. All custom. Very nice. Very nice. My desktop is as well. We bought the parts separately. Uh, and it served me well. Over 10 years now. 11 years now running. And all those videos. Not all of them, but... Mm, all the videos after 2011 2012 were edited on that computer that means i think all the comic book reading videos at some point we're going to get back into editing again let's deal with uh, the chaos being unleashed right now uh, Call of Duty, you can call it, uh, where we've been called up to do our part in sharing information. Right. Death 420, how are you doing? Hey Chicho, man, how are you doing? Check it out, see that hops, right? Nice hops, lots of hops. Oh my god, it's basically like the Batman mask, buy from separate uh, suppliers, put it together yourself, and avoid tracking. Haha. <laughs> Indeed. Indeed. Do the Ma Manhattan Project on it, right? See that? I'm great, thanks. Whoa, nice. I've never seen hops. They look like mini cabbages. They look like mini cabbages, indeed. <laughs> they look. See? super cool and supposedly someone told us that these guys have crystals just like cannabis right and it's one of the only plants aside from cannabis that you can take the crystals out you can shake them out i don't think you can eat them raw no i've never tried uh, but you can make tea with them that's the only thing i've done with them supposedly you can make jelly with them i don't know how to do that uh, and of course beer Nagushka NVIDIA are open about them using AI tracking technology in their cards yeah family used to be long in NVIDIA no longer might do bounces on them though Plutonic Pluris how are you doing you keep on getting the message possible ban <laughs> salute see that said there's a first time for everything maybe they taste good should we try one here we'll try one mm. it's got the bitter taste to it right seriously bitter and bitter plants are good for you all right i'm not going to swallow it though because i'm pretty sure uh, we can't digest it but seriously bitter it's like the tea all right mm, interesting interesting faith healer hi chicho nice looking weather out there today Ottawa cloudy, Ottawa cloudy, Vancouver, West Coast, Victoria, amazing weather. This is one of the greatest uh, Indian summers, extended summers that we've ever had. Like really, wow, wow, wow. <sighs> Elder God, but what if you want to pop a handful of raw hops right into your mouth as a snack? Hops. Um, 
connoisseurs say you can for the die-hard beer fanatic that just can't seem to get enough hops can be tossed right into your salad really you could eat them as well swallow them it's got a seriously bitter taste to it not as bitter as salvia de venorum so you can eat it interesting so you can throw it in your salad and eat it in your salad maybe you'll do that Fons. Fons. Hey. That snaps when you pull them off is definitely some quality ASMR material indeed. Working in the yard is ASMR. Like really. Working in the yard is so nice and chill. Amazing for the soul. Amazing for the spirit. So lucky, Faith Hill says. I need to move to the west. Uh, Faith Hill, I grew up in on the west coast, right? But then for university and work and stuff, I went to the east coast. I lived in Ontario for six years, right? And I worked as a geophysicist in Canada in the winter and summer, all across Canada. I can't believe I lasted through the winters in, in Ontario. I worked in Ottawa in dead of winter, right? So cold. I wouldn't live there again. The cold was too brutal, too brutal. That's what I say now, but man, really. Most people so does beer Eldegar says most people saute them in butter I have done this really and then eat them elder God so saute these in butter and then eat them like saute you mean cook them up lightly or just uh, yeah you must cook them up lightly so you cook these similar to asparagus so with garlic oh I gotta try this now really faithful says ottawa winter is brutal ottawa winter is brutal very brutal like extreme brutal plutonic course winter spring summer or fall all you have to do is call <laughs> Like asparagus. Faith healer, the older I get, the more I dread winter. Everything tastes great in garlic. <laughs> Everything tastes great in garlic butter. <laughs> Indeed. This is how much we got off that, right? Not bad. I'm gonna go get some more. Cut some more and then come back and do them again, right? Whoop. Harvest more, harvest more. Let's bring this guy here.
Okay, gang. Been drinking beer. I'm gonna grab another beer. Okay. And I need to do a pit stop. I'll be right back. Fresh glass. And this one, I don't think I've shown you guys this one. Helios. Tortolam is the same company. Helios. Golden Lager. Okay, I've had this before in the past, last year, a couple of years ago. I can't remember what it tastes like, to tell you the truth. <laughs> So it's another brand that they have, Hoin Helios. Again, no association with this company. Golden Lager. I think it's a weedy, this one. Okay, not 100% sure. Let's check it out. If we're picking hops, we better be drinking beer. Maybe not. Nice, nice. Here come the kitty cats too. Salute gang. I hope you're having a fantastic Sunday. Thank you for joining us on this nice chill live stream. Very nice. Very nice. Very nice. Hi, kitty cats. How are you guys doing? Hmm? This is Via. Come on. This is Via. Hi. Doing good? Yeah. Okay. Off you go. gonna jump on top of the catio go chill there they love that space they love that space if I was a kitty cat I'd love that space I'm not a kitty cat and I'd love that space 
Cheers, Platonic Flora says. Cheryl. Aw, oh, kitties! <laughs> it was. Uh, let's check it out. Elder God, you're gonna look it up? Dortmunder. Dortmunder. Let's see. Helios. Hoin. This thing's coming out. Let's see. Dortmunder. You, are you looking it up, Elder God? To see what the description says? You guys want to see Salio? Here's Sal. Come on. And this one's Sal. Hi. Hi. What are you doing? <laughs> there you go. They're really nice cats. Wow, wow, wow. Nice kitty cats. Elder God, he's got it. He's got the description. Helios is the second pillar in our uh, devotion to fine lager, inspired by a nearly extinct style of beer originating in Dortmund, uh, Hoare Valley, Germany. Uh, a robust malt uh, forward, malt forward, export strength lager that is complex yet subtle helios helios reaches maturity after four to six weeks of aging as it ages it improves it improves developing into a true classic time-honored lager it is always a favorite among our brewers very nice very nice and as far as the lager goes it's quite delicious quite delicious Thanks, Elder God. It is a beautiful color to it, right? Take it out. Beautiful color to it. Nice and bubbly. Cheers, gang. Very nice. Poor Valley Russ Meyer, Meyer style. <clears throat> so far, we're good to load this up on uh, sensor tube in its entirety. I hope so, anyway. Maybe the sensors will find something crazy with it. Who knows? Who knows? We're getting a lot of hops this year. Really, it's super nice. When you get a good harvest of something you're growing, man, it's just amazing, really. When you see something grow from the beginning, you know, you see the little buds come in, and then matter, matter of a few weeks, it's just like, you get this. Like you're harvesting, like here, Think about it this way in terms of terms of personal finance investing economics this is money right we're harvesting money we're growing money right aside from that it's peaceful it's meditative it's good for the soul it's good for the spirit it keeps you healthy it's win 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 right you baba yaga it's cool what you're doing keep it up good work sir thank you very much salute to you <laughs> cheers and a first time chat very nice
this is the first place I've ever lived where we have hops where we're harvesting hops uh, from now on I want hops like hops is probably going to be one thing that I'm going to be harvesting all the time thank you very much for the follow uh, Yaga appreciate it elder god put that recipe of cooking these things up like asparagus in our discord i like to i like to try it out man if it's like cooking i never thought about it garlic butter oh my god that would be crazy delicious six percent this is six percent let's check it out yeah six percent super delicious and later on today we're actually going to go uh quince picking and uh cornelian cherry picking in the same place gilded did i say d the d word again in our gilded oh man on our gilded server right not the bad word but the gilded server okay so again if anyone's interested in just being on a forum where you can discuss freely share your thoughts share information acquire information ask questions you're definitely welcome to join us in our gilded server um, it's the f one of the first places I go to actually the first place I go to when I wake up in the morning to see what news has come out and what people are sharing and uh, slowly we're gonna grow the community we had a thousand uh, people join our the sensor platform now and uh, slowly we'll work our way to a thousand and more on gilded uh, because it's important to be able to share information right, freely without being censored and gang do not forget do not forget free Assange free Assange free Assange Julian Assange is a publisher and journalist that has been crucified for trying to bring transparency and accountability of capital as power to humanity for more information see wikileaks.org defend.wikileaks.org or our Julian Assange and Wikileaks playlist on Sensor 2, as well as countless, countless amount of resources, channels online that you can find that share what it is that Julian Assange has done for humanity and why his plight is so important to all of us. <laughs> this thing's so nice so cool check this out it's like a fluffy little thing like like so fluffy it's like a, it's like stuffed animal the best quality stuffed animal that you can squish very nice very nice very nice oh. oh man how's your time what's going on oh we only got like half an hour left we better harvest harvest we need hops we need hops I'm gonna throw the flowers on here because this guy is full
I gotta plant some more grass for the kitty cats. I got some it's inside, but I gotta plant some outside. The grass is going uh, yellow. Need fresh grass. All the hops gone from this one. All right. Eldegoth says, I have a good Polish recipe for the hops. I will post later. Awesome. Awesome, Eldegoth. Yeah, seriously, if we can cook this up with butter and garlic. Uh, yeah. I'm assuming it'd be really good with meat. Like, cook it up with meat. We had some liver yesterday. I don't know if it would be good with liver, but uh, a little bit of sugar and uh, and pork might be fantastic. Like really, a little bit of sugar and some hops and pork fried up. That would give it a nice flavor, I think. Look at this one. Very meditative. Chicho, you're showing your Persian heritage. That's what uh, Kashar does with them. Sticks with meat, hops, and spices. Really? Oh, I need to try it. I need to try it. It'd be amazing, actually. It really would be. I could just taste it right now. I'd be like, oh, salut, gang. Pears, apples, uh, old fort cheddar cheese, and blue cheese with cinnamon and a little bit of maple syrup. That's what I cooked up for breakfast this morning. With a little bit of walnuts and almonds. Power food. Tonic Prolerist. 
could be a part of the broad Armenian region cooking stream yeah it could be but as uh, as far as Armenian goes I've never I don't know any recipes where Armenians are cooking with hops so or my family doesn't know any on a search it says you can put dry hops in a pillow and make makes it uh, sleep better really yeah like seriously these would make the most amazing amazing soft pillow I don't know how long the softness would last but the hops we harvested two years ago they're still quite squishy yeah we've tried making hop tea we put in uh, you can't you don't want to put in too much because the first time we made it and put in a lot and it was very bitter I think you just want to put in like three or four of them in a little teapot with like Persian black tea or whatever else and it gives that bitter taste right. smells amazing gang really just gentle sweet smell they call it the dream pillow really see that I wonder if it amplifies the dreams Honk for hops, haha, <laughs> honk honk. Salute to the hops. Salute to the hops. <sighs> Look at this. This is like some of the like hairy filament on it what that is but we'll put it in the pot here I think that's part of the crystals of the hops most likely but I'm not 100% sure there's a lot of it here just amazing like, look at this nice I'm gonna go pick some more <laughs> bring it here <laughs> okay Yaga says I honestly don't know anything about hops so this is great yeah it's this is the first place I've ever lived where we have hops growing so we started harvesting and looking into it like three uh, two years ago uh, two three years ago elder god I I learned while I was in Sarajevo in the early 90s you can learn a lot from the strongest places strangest places you can learn a lot from strangest places yada all i know is i like beer so i thought should learn <laughs> me too salute let's bring down some more we got lots to pick oh, last one here last one here last one here let's check it out Let's check it out. Let's see. You know what? I'm going to transfer this into here. Oh, 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 oh. Sorry about the sound game. Oh, lost some, lost some, lost some. Let's see. That's a nice hops bowl. And one more here. Okay. That's a nice bowl, eh? Check it out. Yeah. 
Let's put this here. That way we can put the rest of this one. Let's continue harvesting. Maybe, yeah. We got 172 people in guild uh, guild of server now. Please join us, indeed, indeed. Salute to our gilded community. Here's our gilded server. Very important to find spaces where you can share information without being censored. Extremely important, extremely important. Must stay informed uh, as to what's really going on. Oh, look at the size of this one. Because uh, self-preservation, really. Self-preservation. Look at the size of this one. Huge, huge. <laughs> That's a nice hop bud. Very cool. Very cool. Very cool. Yeah, yeah. 
Nice one, eh? We could probably let these keep on growing for another couple of days. Uh, but it's supposed to rain in like three. So I figured I'd take these down right now. Just in case we get a freak weather change. And uh, we would have a harvest. And then I'm going to keep on harvesting these uh, in the back there. You saw me reaching over. There's a fair bit growing there. Uh, in the next few days as well. I'll try anyway. Salute. Salute. By, by natural plants like hops are, I guess, not good tools uh, sedating the populace. They rather bring us in contact with nature and self-aware working with community. Yeah. Like this is a barter sort of commodity as well, right? I think some people consider it to be medicinal. So what are you saying? Is drink beer <laughs> to win war? <laughs> oh god. <laughs> it is a tool. Check out these two. Very nice, very nice. Look at the size difference. This shows sort of shows the size difference pretty well. All right? Let's see. No, it's not focusing for some reason. There you go. Nice hops. Nice hops. There must be beers that they make with early hops and late hops. Maybe like, like young hop flower makes different types of beer. Probably does. I <laughs> just keep on adding it to the, <laughs> this big pile we have here. Okay, I'm gonna keep start putting it into this bowl. Simmer, how are you doing? I hope you're well also. Thank you. I hope everyone is doing well. For all those people that are beer drinkers, fruit of the gods, <laughs> or flower of the gods, I guess. Fruit of the gods is what Terence McKenna would call them, right? Nectar of the gods. Nectar of the gods. This is like the sex organ of plants, by the way, right? Flowers. So we drink to the sex organs of the plants. May they may they provide us with tremendous amount of joy for many, 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 many millennia to come. Indeed. Indeed, right? The sex organs of plants, flowers. Oh, I'm 
Amazing. Amazing. Amazing, amazing. Elder God, you should grow hops at your at your pub. Um, uh, Yada says I've been to the Guinness factory in Ireland. Such a lovely place. I've been too. I've been too. I've had a drink at the Guinness factory in Ireland. That's one of the reasons I went to Ireland. I, I loved Guinness and Kilkenny. So I've been to the Guinness factory in Ireland. Dublin and Belfast. Very intelligent people in Ireland. The local news is, is blows away international news in Canada. Like covers so much information. Wow, wow, wow. The, the beer in Ireland amazing the food in Ireland not so much not the, not the food I was uh, I was having access to Yeah, that says, haha, agreed. They cook a good steel, but not the best fan of their food. Yeah. So heavy. <laughs> so heavy. I realized why Ireland, when I was in Ireland, I realized why, why Irish beer is so amazing. Because no one really wants to eat the food, so they fill up with, uh, with the beer. And why Guinness is so heavy and why Kilkenny is so yummy and creamy. Is because no one really wants to eat the food like you can't eat that food all the time you'll die of a heart attack so you just drink it's like food like a glass of guinness good guinness i guess in the olden days it was really uh like food <laughs> two hours we're at two hours check this out oh here's a spider come on spider get out of our little hops area come on come on you don't want to be there Come on, come on, come on. Oh, where'd it go? Okay, hold on, hold on. You're freaking out. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you're almost out. You're almost out. Come this way, come this way. There he is. Take a look. I don't know if you can see him. Where is it? There he is. Okay, I gotta help him out. Hold on, guys. I like spiders, so we need to help out the spiders come on get on my finger come on come on come on come on come on whoop there he goes nice oh he fell into the big one <laughs> there he goes oh nice lost a little bit oh no he got squished too bad too bad Okay, spider, I'm sorry, but can't let you suffer. I had to put him down. We tried to help him, but it didn't work. Sorry. You got to be merciful. You got to be merciful. No, I didn't mean to, Elder God. I didn't mean to. I like spiders. I tried to get him on my finger, but he wouldn't go on my finger. And then when I pushed him, he got squished. So I had to put him out. I had to put him out. I know, I know. Poop. 
Spiders, I love spiders. Spiders are like... That's unfortunate. That's unfortunate. I know. Nine hundred and ninety. Was it our previous centuries dictators that invented this thought monitoring tech? Hard to say, hard to say. Oh here's another one. Okay, we're gonna save this one, that's for sure. Look at this. Good good good. Look at that one. Look at that one. See it? Nice. This one we can save. There we go. Awesome. Awesome. We saved one. Rest in peace. <laughs> <laughs> we saved one so that's okay we're not all bad spiders <laughs> hoppy got squished <laughs> poor hoppy funny 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 oh here's a little bug come on come on come on what are you i don't know what you are but you need freedom there you go we saved them. Oh, there's a leaf. Let's get rid of the leaf. So not bad. We ended up harvesting this much. So you look. This much. We could have filled this up. We will fill this up. Actually, I will fill this up when we finish the last stream. New chance, new chance. All I can say, uh, yeah, that says is 1984 isn't for that far off from reality. No, we're we're gone way past 1984, man. 1984 is 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 it was like a few months ago, right? 90. Does a dictator or a, a monarchical leader know the exact moment when I even think about disobeying his set of pyramid schemes? Here's a kicker, 90. Uh, they don't have to zap you at the time when you're thinking certain things, right? Everything's being recorded. So if you hit their radar, someone, some bureaucrat will go, Hey, what do we know about 999? 90, 990, 990. What do we know about 990? All the data pops up. Now, they can make you look like whatever they want. To make you look like anything right they can think take things out of context take words you've said and make you look like the look like the mass murderer right that's the danger that's the danger <laughs> we'll time to save save a second and they can repopulate <laughs> nice harvest yeah it's a nice harvest this is a nice harvest don't eat the bugs don't eat the bugs don't eat the bugs don't eat the bugs my neighbors have parties over weekend it's, it's an interesting neighborhood to live in i actually like it noisy to a degree sometimes but lots of kids running around people having a good time uh, you know some of the neighbors know me i talk to them they put stuff out so i grab them and stuff 90 says i'm covered i have an emf, EMF proof bed spread <laughs> salute base man hope you're doing well yes chicho love the harvest taking a nice dab on this sunday while i join you all awesome awesome we're about to call it quits brother we're about to end the stream i'll show you the harvest again gang nice harvest hops hops we got more i got at least this much more i can harvest right uh hopefully i can get to it hopefully we gotta go get uh cornelian cherries and the quince today as well so uh, Cornel it's harvest season so cornelian cherries and quince are calling for me <laughs> we're calling elder god key to survival don't create a data version of you indeed indeed don't create a dirt data version of you whatever you're doing online do it under a pseudo name do people think madonna's name is really madonna do you think Cher's name is really Cher? what the f what the f right like if you do a search under my official name that's on my uh diploma 
you'll barely find anything anything you do a search under chicho there's a lot of stuff on chicho because that's what i am online that is my persona i choose to share this information and this this reality this lifestyle right to help others right to reach where they want to reach mainly focused on mathematics of course right be careful of big brother gang they can be evil they can be evil right yeah that's cheers brother have a good one thanks for sharing my pleasure my pleasure thank you for the follow by the way almost forgotten my birth name haha <laughs> elder god awesome gang let's call the stream i hope you enjoyed what we did today i did i did a lot i love this garden man i love this garden create your happy space gang create your happy happy space be healthy eat well harvest your own food if you can right aside from that gang thank you for being here if you want to know what this work is about i am on patreon i am on substack i am on subscribe star you can follow the work there you can support the work there and for those of you that are supporting the work on patreon and all these different platforms thank you very much for the support as well as the support we're getting on twitch it is in large part because of the support we get on twitch and patreon and substack that we're able to do what it is that we are doing so thank you very much for the support gang and mods 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 thank you as always for being here and taking care of business I do announce these live streams 30 minutes, 45 minutes before we go live and get our minds we can gap harder, bit cloud and and gap. I've been having a little hiccup with parlor, but we'll sort that out soon. Okay. Elder God, no, it's the god of absolutely everything and absolutely nothing. Plutonic Polaris, thanks, Chicho and the gang. Indeed, indeed. The gang thank you very much for being here thank you for a very relaxing live stream ah, salute salute for live streams when we don't have any visuals i do hook up the lapel mic i'm back into it and record the audio on a lapel mic and we will be uploading those podcasts on soundcloud.com and those podcasts should be available in your favorite podcasting platform including spotify itunes and google play 990 i've studied our species when a monkey has a bigger banana the troop sometimes <laughs> becomes envious and will will group up to obtain it by any means necessary moral keep your bananas hidden ha 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 great advice great advice great advice great advice the elder god says be a walking contradiction ha ha gang this full live stream will be loaded on sensor tube it will be always loaded on bit shoot rumble and odyssey for those of you that are following the work on sensor tube if you want to be privy to everything that we do you want to be on bit shoot rumble and odyssey that's where we load everything everything's not being loaded on sensor tube because sensors will kill our channel will not allow us to load everything on sensor tube so highly recommend being on free speech platforms and if you want to share information participate in discussions see what this is all about and you know get into deep into the community join our gilded server okay where people are sharing information free speech free speech free speech okay uh join us uh, talk about whatever it is you want to talk about Aside from that, gang, thank you for being here. I hope you enjoyed this live stream. We've got a great harvest. We've got a great harvest. More to come, more to come. And hopefully, weather permitting, we will definitely harvest the cannabis together. Okay. Aside from that, gang, I hope you have a fantastic rest of your weekend, and we'll talk later. I'll see you on Gilded. Bye, everyone.